Hi, I'm Kahan. I am a medical student here at Truckee University and um, I will talk now about um, the first year of medical school. One academic year at the Truckee University is divided in two semesters. So usually uh, once the, uh, the winter semester will start um, in the middle of uh, September and um, the lecture period will end in the middle of December. And then um, in January we have the exam session of the winter semester. Between um, winter semester and um, summer semester it's usually one or two weeks depending um, uh, depending on the dates of the um, exams, but um, the second semester will start in the middle of uh, February and the lecture period of um, um, second semester will go um, until the end of May. So in June you have your exam session and then um, you have um, vacation and this time it's um, almost uh, three months a lesson structure is divided in um, two parts. So we have uh, lectures with the professor. Um, usually in the lectures all the groups are together. And um, then we have also um, seminars and labs which are divided in groups. One group is usually um, with um, 10 students. And um, these subjects or seminars and labs we have with the assistant um, professors. Usually the structure um, of the semester and um, of the subjects is that um, whenever we finish a subject we have the final um, exam and um, depending on a subject either we have it only one semester or two semesters. In first semester we have uh, eight subjects so one of, these, uh, of the subject is biology. Biology we have two semesters so in first semester and second semester and uh, biology is, um, have, uh, has uh, three parts. So um, in first semester we do mainly um, immunobiology, so everything about the immune system. And um, in second semester we do parasitology, so all parasites, and we do molecular biology. And um, in, in the end of first semester, um, we are going to have the um, immunobiology exam. So if we pass this, we don't have to take this exam in the end um, of first year. And also in second semester, um, if we, uh, when we finish parasitology, we have the um, parasitology exam. If we pass parasitology, it will be only uh, molecular biology in the end. And um, then um, in first semester we have also medical physics. This is only one semester, so it means that in the end of um, first semester we have a final exam in um, physics. And physics will be, um, medical physics will be only general physics. So about light, um, all the physics uh, parameters, it's, um, you can compare it to um, the high school level. For biology, um, in the end um, of the semester, for immuno, uh, immunobiology, um, the test uh, will be uh, due COVID um, online. It will be an MCQ, but um, the MCQ is different than normal MCQ because um, we get a lot of options and every option could be correct or nothing. And um, the same with parasitology in second semester. And molecular biology, um, in the end, will be um, oral questions. So we have a syllabus point uh, list um, with all topics. And in the end, um, you will um, choose two topics and you have to talk about that in the exam. Studying um, for biology is sometimes not easy because um, it's a lot of knowledge. What I do, um, the, I study uh, with the uh, presentation slides from the professor. Um, I'm trying to uh, make notes and write all the important um, facts down. Especially in molecular biology, it helps to um, watch a lot of videos um, since it's easier to understand. Medical chemistry, uh, we have uh, two semesters and um, the exam due to COVID, um, the final exam in chemistry will be now um, written. So, um, but it won't be MCQ, it will be, they give us equations, um, 
and we have to um, write the missing parts or include the missing parts and then um, in the end we will have also one uh, topic where we have to write a little essay and the best part is uh, to um, to prepare for chemistry is to um, study the equations um, many times until you know them. In first semester we have also cytology. Um, cytology has something to do with histology, um, with um, cell biology and embryology and um, we have it only in the first semester so in the end of um, the semester we have our final exam in um, cytology and it will be um, with three parts. So first of all you get um, a test where you have to identify uh, microscopic pictures in histology. It will be only general um, histology and then um, we will get a stop test. We have to pass this to um, get to the next um, step and this stop test is um, with MCQ questions. And the last part, um, normally in person, it would be um, taking two topics and uh, from the syllabus list and talking about that. But because of COVID, uh, we had it um, online too. Preparing for the cytology exam, um, first of all, um, I use also the presentation slides because our professor in cytology makes good um, presentations where you can study from the um, presentation. But also here, especially for cell biology, you can um, use um, also a lot of videos. And for the histology part, um, since you have to um, prepare with a lot of um, uh, microscopic pictures, um, I made a list with um, all pictures and you just have to study it many times. One subject is, um, and it's really important, it's anatomy. We have it um, two years, so four semesters. In the first semester, we only um, study the bones, the structure of the bones and all the joints. And we will have uh, two colloquiums. So one colloquium about the bones, one colloquium about the joints. And uh, the best way to study for anatomy is to have an anatomy book or an atlas. And um, in fact, I, um, when, I was, when I came here um, to Bulgaria, I already bought my anatomy book in German. And it's also in German, but since anatomy is, uh, we have to study anatomy in Latin, in Latin terminology, um, it's not depending if you buy an English book or a German or whatever, since it's only Latin. And anatomy, I know in the beginning it's a lot, and especially the bones with all the structures, with all the small structures, and you just have to revise every day a bit. And if you do it every day, then um, you will have success. Since I mentioned um, that we have colloquiums, a colloquium is different um, uh, depending on a subject. Some subjects have it uh, in MCQ, but anatomy, it will be in person, so they give you a bone and um, you have to speak about the bone or the professor will ask you um, about some structures and you have to answer them. So anatomy, the colloquiums and the exam will be only um, in person always. In um, second semester we will start to study all the internal organs, all the structures and we will start uh, to go to this dissection room but only see the organs. And here we have only one colloquium in the end of the semester um, the professor will give you an organ and you uh, will ask questions and you have to um, answer and um, see the structures. In um, third semester and in fourth, so in second year, you will uh, start to um, dissect the whole cadaver. Um, so you will learn uh, zetos and uh, you will also learn lower and um, upper limbs and the nervous system. And um, here you have also during the year colloquiums. And after two years, when we finish anatomy, you have your big uh, final exam about all the topics you learn in this fall semesters.
One um, subject uh, what we have also in first year in two semesters is uh, the Latin um, the medical Latin and um, the medical terminology. So in um, first semester you learn more Latin and in second semester you concentrate in medical terminology and um, in the end you will have um, one final exam. It will be written um, and then either MCQ or you have to fill in something and um, uh, preparing for this final exam is um, just um, learning the words, the terminology, the declensions. One important subject is also Bulgarian, especially um, also um, to learn some Bulgarian um, for the free time and um, also to have Bulgarian knowledge um, when you go later to uh, the clinical um, part of the med school. And Bulgarian you have it um, two years, so four semesters. And um, Bulgarian we have it only in our group. So we have one teacher, so we do a lot of exercise, dialogues, we speak a lot um, in um, Bulgarian. And in the end of each semester you have uh, one colloquium. And in the end of each year, you have also a uh, final exam. So you have Bulgarian 1 final exam and Bulgarian 2 final exam. The test um, in um, Bulgarian was in the first semester uh, a MCQ test. And um, in the second semester, it was um, a text, a written text, what we have to um, write. So, um, for example, it was about um, describing um, family or holiday, um, so you can choose um, the topic. And um, I know Bulgarian is in the beginning um, hard, especially if you're new and you're in, med uh, in medic medical school where you have uh, other um, big subjects, but um, try um, to study always a bit some new words, add some new words, add some grammars, and also take part in the lessons. You have uh, three lessons per week, and if you take part of them, um, you learn um, really um, a lot of uh, Bulgarian. One last um, subject um, in first semester is uh, sports. Um, you have uh, sports uh, two years, and um, it just um, to um, get some activity so you don't have a real um, exam in the end. You just have to be uh, take part in the lesson uh, to get um, the signature in the end. Speaking about now, um, about the second semester, uh, we have three new subjects. So first of all, we have medical ethics where we speak about the whole relationship, um, about the patient, what is important um, uh, when speaking with a patient, how to deal um, with a patient. So this is also really interesting because um, in the um, seminars, um, the um, professor will give you um, some cases and you have to decide what would you do if you are the um, physician. And um, in the end, of second semester you have the final exam. The preparation for medical ethics is quite easy compared um, to the other big subjects. Um, mainly it's um, just how you discuss an argument, um, something, and um, you have to learn also some uh, theory. Another new subject in second semester is biophysics. After uh, finishing medical physics in first semester, we have now biophysics and it's concentrating more um, in, uh, into the biological part um, of physics, which is uh, interesting. And um, because we have it only one semester, we will finish it also with a final exam. And um, this final exam is also um, conducted with three parts. So a stop test, um, MCQ, a written essay and an oral part. The preparation for the final exam in biophysics is also just um, uh, reading the slides, um, writing your own essays, since our biophysics professor uh, making um, a good uh, presentation and she's always uh, giving some books 
what we can um, use for the preparation. The last um, new subject what we have in second semester is biochemistry. Biochemistry is um, in two semesters, so we have it in second semester and a third semester. So uh, in the end of third semester we have our final exam and um, biochemistry we have a lecture and labs and um, also two colloquiums in the year and um, two seminars. Studying for biochemistry is not always easy since it's a subject um, which is uh, really hard um, under medical students no matter where you are studying. Um, from my um, point I uh, bought some books so um, I always study from these books and at home I have also a big uh, biochemistry poster so where all the reactions um, and the, all the pathways are written and when I'm studying I'm going through the poster and which makes it um, easier. So far um, my favorite subject in first year um, is uh, biochemistry since uh, biochemistry gives me the opportunity um, to understand all the processes um, in the body and which is really interesting and helps me um, to get also different views um, about um, the body and also helps me to get um, already clinical uh, views. One of the hardest uh, subject in first year is um, it could be anatomy because anatomy um, usually we don't have a lot of knowledge um, about uh, anatomy and um, studying all the small structures um, is not easy in the beginning. You have to find um, your um, how to study uh, properly and to memorize it. But um, if you um, start studying and after a while um, you find out, um, found out um, how to study, it's getting easy and easy and in the end it um, will be also interesting. Talking about um, the free time in medical school, um, firstly it's also depending um, on yourself, um, how you organize um, yourself, but uh, my experience after one year was that um, when I'm studying um, the whole semester, so from the beginning of the semester, um, after every lab and lecture, making some notes, um, revising, um, then I found out that I have in the end more free time since um, I'm organized. And um, it's also depending on which uh, part you are in the semester. In the beginning of the semester, usually you have more free time than um, a few weeks before the exam session where you have to concentrate um, only in studying. But uh, my advice is um, to always manage your time, organize yourself and then um, you have also um, free time. I hope um, all these information are useful um, for you and is uh, helping you and um, hopefully we will see us next year at the Trucker University.